Keady, Kevin Rudd and Julia Gillard. Warriors past came in peace. Leaving Labor's women of the present to go on the offensive... They are small men with small ideas. ...against the men of the Morrison ministry. Scott Morrison is a motor mouth running on empty. Well, goodness me. And a wife who seldom strides across the party's platforms to tell of a leader's qualities that no one else could. Caring, smart, funny, gentle. He's a wonderful dad. A terrible dancer. <laughs> Will you please welcome my husband, Bill Shorten. On his second tilted office in his second campaign launch, Mr Shorten honoured his elders and set his sights on emulating them. My fellow Australians... <laughs> At this election, you have the power to change our country for the better. Over 50 minutes, his hopeful front bench behind and others who never got to lead in government out front, commitments on climate action were restated. The case for change is night and day, black and white. As were plans to tackle low wages. Converting the minimum wage into a living wage. Along with new promises, $200 million for youth mental health services, more for hospitals. We will put... $500 million to upgrade emergency departments to bring down waiting times right across Australia. And the offer of extra tax incentives for businesses that hire workers aged under 25 or over 55. It's billed as a tax cut to contrast with the billions in loopholes or tax increases funding Labor's agenda and spearheading the government's campaign against it. For a fair go for all Australians, wherever they live, however much they have, vote Labor. Thank you very much. This pitch is a political game-changer, deliberately targeting tax increases for some through brand redistribution, all in the name of fairness. Succeed, and Bill Shorten will lead a government distinctly different to any other in three decades. Fail, and no opposition will likely repeat this policy experiment for many elections to come. And as success is their preference, helpful hands come in from everywhere. Oh, hello. <laughs> Walking around with a lump of coal, I mean, you know, coal's a fossil, and the problem, the problem is the Prime Minister's a fossil himself. He's a fossil with a baseball cap, but he's a fossil. Still plenty of fight left in Labor's Warriors of Old. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Brisbane.